Welcome to Detroit, everybody. We are here with two of the most interesting new wagons on the US market. We've got the Volvo V90 and the Jaguar XFS Sport Brake, and we've been driving them over the last two days to find out which one we like the most. I really like the way the Jag looks. I like modern Jaguar styling, and I think this is a really elegant, classy design. I know this one is a little on the sportier side since we've got the black wheels and black trim and the red paint, but man, this is a great looking car. I had a random guy on the highway wave and give me a thumbs up. The guys working at the car wash wanted to ask all these questions about it and said it was beautiful, and I agree. I really like the styling of this. Is it the most modern design? No, not necessarily, but it's kind of timeless in the way that like an antique table isn't the most modern piece of furniture you've got, but it's still good looking and timeless in your house. Whereas the uh, Jag looks very sort of distinctly European station wagon, the Volvo looks distinctively Volvo. It's got really great lines and it's got really great glass all around. Visibility is very good. Uh, particularly when looking back through the C-pillar and through the back of the car. The Volvo for me clearly wins on the interior. Volvo has been doing great interiors for a while now and this is no exception. This car is exquisite from front to back, side to side. Everything from switches to controls to gauges to knobs. Everything in this car is exemplary. I mean, the leather is nice, the trim is nice, the seats. Also a clear winner over the Jag. The Jag seats didn't have a lot of distinct personality. In the Volvo they definitely do. So these are two very fun to drive cars, but in completely different ways. The Volvo is more like a luxury car that wants to be sporty. And this Jag is like a sporty car that's kind of good at luxury. In terms of their engines, I actually like the Volvos a little more, even though it's down on power. It's both supercharged and turbocharged, which is really cool. And it feels really responsive. So if there's one single reason why the Jaguar absolutely wins this competition, in my estimation, it's what just happened under my right foot there. The Volvo is quick. It has a really nice, sophisticated powertrain, but at the end of the day, there's just something about this 380 horsepower that makes the car a lot more fun. While the Volvo does really, really well, and uh, it's certainly not like the family station wagon you had while you were growing up, the Jaguar actually feels like a proper sports car all the time, whether you're going in a straight line or just canning it around a corner. I agree with Seth that the XF is a ton of fun to drive. The engine is great. The chassis is really, really nice. And honestly, the feel of the primary controls is perhaps just a little bit more satisfying than the Volvo. But I also think that this car is perhaps a tiny bit quieter, perhaps a tiny bit more comfortable over these kind of crummy roads that we're driving on. This one feels just a little bit more luxurious overall from behind the wheel. The Volvo is certainly more visually interesting. It has a lot more drama in the design. I just think that the Jag is the one that I would rather live with and kind of wake up to every day. What I like about the Volvo is that it's really hard to find something to criticize in it. Everything just works and just works really well. The design is just great and fresh both inside and out. All the technologies, whether they're the driver assistance ones or the entertainment ones, just work. And this powertrain is maybe not the most exciting one of this comparison test, but just wonderful in everyday driving. So for me, when it comes down to thinking of the station wagon I want to borrow and take for a great drive on a winding country road, yeah, maybe it's the XF. But if I have to think of the station wagon I want to live with for five years and carry people and stuff in, the V90 easily wins for me. I think when it comes to long-term ownership, comfort of ride and everything considered, it's got to be the Volvo. The Volvo is just simply the car you want to live with. It's the car that I feel is going to do the best at the grocery store and do the best on the road trip with the kids and the family and is going to do the best in just terms of long-term comfort and my esteemed editors may disagree but for me there's no doubt about it the Volvo is the winner. At the end of the day if I had to pick I'd pick the Volvo because it's just a better station wagon. Uh, it's still really fun to drive even if it's not quite as fun to drive as the Jaguar and it's also a better luxury car. But look Jaguar I ain't mad at you it was really close. And at the end of the day, I'm just happy that we can finally buy these two wagons in the US. 
Picking a winner in this comparison test was much tougher than we expected. These cars are really closely matched and we like them both a lot. Now the Jaguar XF Sport Brake is very pretty and it's the car that's more fun to drive, it's the more emotional choice. But when we think about what station wagons are used for and look at things holistically, well, it's the Volvo V90 that comes out ahead. It just better represents what we expect from this car segment. And that's why it's the winner of this comparison test.